Hello, gorgeous. My name is Dusty, and this is the Scorpio Priestess. If you like my vibe, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe. Everybody who has already Scorpio, thank you so much. For those who show me love every day and vibe with me, I thank you more than you will ever know, Scorpio. If you would like a personal reading, you can do that by visiting ScorpioPriestess.com. Let's get directly into this. We are going to get a sneak see at what it is Spirit wants us to know today about love. Tell me, what do you want Scorpio to know about their love life, please? What a gem, a keeper, irreplaceable, stand out from all the rest, restricted, failing, trapped, victimized, passive in love, and apology, forgiveness, conflict, resolution, and unattended intended harm. Somebody here wants conflict resolution. They've been restricted. They've been tied up in their minds. They've been restricted by society, restricted here by their own uh, doing. They feel like you are irreplaceable. They feel like you are a keeper. They want conflict resolution. Tell me about this, please. They want to come in here with some conflict resolution. They've been just hanging here, juggling around how to do it to a cup's energy. Um, they want equal reciprocity, Scorpio. This is somebody that really misses you. They didn't intend to harm you. They were just in a player energy when you meant them. You could have been in a relationship with them and you thought that this person was going to be your forever, but you found out very suddenly that that was not the case. Some of you here, this person got in their ego and they started to act like a player. Others, you meant them and this was not supposed to be a serious relationship, but you both fell in love. They could be a Pisces. They want some kind of conflict resolution now. They want to come in with an apology. They didn't intend to harm you. Some of you, this person is just really passive. They're in a feminine energy and they don't make any moves or they're, you know, you're the one doing everything and they are uh, not doing a whole lot in the relationship. Some of you may meet a new person here, Scorp, and they're going to stand out from all the rest. Reunion, renewed hope, keeping the romance alive. Distance brings you closer. Some of you, this distance between the two of you uh, was actually beneficial, but there's some kind of covering up the truth. Infidelity is possible. Unexpected romance, magnetic attraction, and falling in love. You see what I mean? It just depends on where you are. Those that are ready to meet a new lover, you're going to meet a keeper, somebody that, oh, Scorpio, you are not going to want to let go. But there's also someone else around you that wants to come in with an apology. They want to apologize to you, but they've been trying to cover up some truth, trying to cover up what they've been out here doing and the divine asking you to see this clearly. Let's talk about this person here that wants to apologize. What is this truth? What is this truth being covered up, please? It could have to do with someone they have children with, Scorpio. It could have to do with something that happened with their mother as a child. They could actually have a feminine energy wound. They could... Um, have a hard time being nurturing and loving. This could be a Leo or a Taurus. For a lot of you, this person made a really bad decision. They could have been involved with a older, someone older than them. They're trying to use willpower now. They don't want you to find out about whatever this is that they have done. They have a lot of love for you, but they've made some really bad decisions and they may not be able to come back from them. 
um, th they know that if you find out whatever this truth is, that you are going to be gone. Some of you are on a timeline ahead of this. You have already found out about this and, and this person feels really aggressive and, and all over the page because they didn't want you to know. Yeah, Seven of Swords energy here. There's some lie that they have told you. There's some lie about a feminine energy in their life, someone they have children with. You could have told them time and time again, I know you're seeing this person. I know you're still involved with this person, but they, they were lying. You could have more recently than not found out about this. There could be a cunning rival around you as well, a third party that's really cunning, a third party here that is just not a good person. A lot of you, this person had some kind of workplace affair and there's been a lot of fighting and a lot of bickering around it. Others, you and this person could argue about money or argue about the kids or argue about something. And because of that, they acted out of character and did things they shouldn't have done. They could also uh, be dealing with someone that you have had many arguments and fights with. They could be back and forth between you and this person. For a lot of you, it's someone they have children with. They want to apologize for whatever they did here. They want to apologize for what they have done to you. It really came out of left field for some of you. You thought everything was great in the relationship. And when you found this out, it really changed the way you looked at them tell me what they have to say please i can't get you off my mind scorpio it's hard for me to tell you the truth I, i'm i'm afraid to tell you the truth about this some of you already know about this but this person has not came out and said it because they're afraid i check up on you through social media I want to help you. This person may owe you money, Scorb. You could argue a lot about this. They, they need to come in and give you some the money they owe you. They need to come in here, right? If they don't come correct, then don't come at all is what I'm hearing. You're, you're at your wit's end with this. There is a surprise. But I feel like for a lot of you, the surprise is a brand new relationship or a brand new person that's going to be a keeper that will be irreplaceable. But it, there's some rivalry. There is somebody, Scorpio, that is tormented by jealousy. There seems to be a karmic in the background here that is tormented by jealousy, that they are hiding the, what they're hiding the truth about this person. This third party could have called you and told you about whatever's happened, but they haven't admitted it to you. You and this third party could have had many altercations about it. It feels like this person goes back and forth between you all. They look, they're really jealous of you. This karmic is like a green-eyed monster when they think of, of you. It really, really burns their ass that uh, you may be more, yeah, there's a lot of resentment, confusion. Someone is angry, not good for you. It feels to me like it's someone they have a child to, fertility, getting pregnant and caring for children. You could have more recently than not found out this person had somebody pregnant. There could have been a pregnancy scare or rumors going around. Or this is someone they have kids with. They, they are so jealous of you, Scorpio. They resent you. For some of you, it's your lover that's mad and resentful. They, were, they are resenting you here. This person resents you because you're moving forward. They look at you like you are winning. They look at you here like you are uh, the, the real winner of the situation, especially if you're dealing with a Leo, a Pisces, or a Taurus. 
what are they gonna do? They're hiding their intentions about something. They're afraid to tell you the truth. But it's coming out anyway. Oh yeah. Leo energy again, Capricorn energy here. This person, there's a lot of fighting. There's a lot of arguing uh, around them with you. This, the, they're always wanting to win at all costs. They could be actually going through some kind of breakup with a karmic. The karmic may call you, may be stalking your platforms on social media. Every time this person leaves the house, they're watching, trying to figure out if they're, if they're coming to be with you or not. Tell me about the new person here coming in, this magnetic attraction, this new person coming in, please. Those that that are still involved with, with this person, just know that there's something about to come out that may be a little hurtful or may make you angry. With that being said, Scorpio, you can rise above whatever this is and you will. And do not let a third party knock you out your square. Don't, don't stoop to this third party's level. Tell me about this new person coming in, please, Spirit. Ace of Swords energy. And Spirit is saying they're a very honest person. This will be a really exciting, fresh new beginning. You may be not seeing things clearly right now. This is an equal reciprocity relationship. This person could be a cancer or you could meet them by the end of cancer season. This is the kind of relationship, though, that is equal reciprocity. This is equal give and take. You're a little fearful to start dating, but you could be putting yourself out there anyway and, and taking chances on yourself or that's what you're being asked to do. You could have a dog and a cat. You could have two dogs to this with this person and you all may be arguing and fighting over the animals. Fun times together, being friends first, developing feelings, a pleasant time, a nice man or woman, and starting to date again. Yes, if you're ready to start dating or you're starting to date again, Scorp, you're going to have a really fun time coming up by the end of cancer season with a new person. You may go out on a few dates. You may ask them if you can take it slow. You may want to be friends first because you're trying to move away from this past situation that's took a lot from you. Some of you just want to take things slow and date cas casually. It looks like you may not be seeing some of the blessings that Spirit's trying to bring you, though, love. You may want to put your head up here and uh, get out of this fearful energy. There are so much love out here for you. There's so many good times to come. The best years of your life are yet to come, my friends. The best years of your life say that to yourself every day if you're having a hard time getting over this person leaving for a third party it's not easy scorpio but you can get through this and you will this feels like a really heavy situation and, and a, there's a third party in the background just uh making things so difficult they could be posting things on social media just doing the most out here and I, my heart goes out to you. If you need me to pray for you, please put prayer in the comment section and I will say a prayer for you. Make today your new beginning. Try to leave any past mistakes in the past and don't allow them to weigh you down any longer. Move forward today with confidence and knowing that you have better, brighter, days ahead you see you gotta listen to your old girl here the divine confirming what i'm saying love you have better brighter days ahead and you will make it through your life is about to start moving quickly in some areas events that seem to have been on hold suddenly propel forward move with the flow and be mindful that your need at your what needs attention the most make decisions rationally. The divine asking you to make rational decisions here. Your life's about to move very fast and there's things that's going to suddenly start 
propelling you forward in the love department and in other areas of your life. If you're just getting out of a bad marriage or a toxic relationship, take the time you need to heal my love, but trust and believe and visualize that. But visualize better, brighter days. Where do you wanna be by this time next year? What do you want, want your life to look like, Scorpio? The best years of your life are yet to come. I hope everybody has a beautiful and blessed day. Love and light.